Hello, Relius Knights, and welcome to another month. Oh, not Monday. Uh, actually, this is a Friday speed drawing, and today I am drawing a character named Desi. Desi is a character created by Jordan over at J Comics Productions, and uh, yeah, it was really fun to draw. She's really cute and quirky, so um, coming up with a pose wasn't that hard or difficult to come up with. And uh, yeah, this is what I what I what I decided to go with, and it was uh, really fun. One of the main things about Desi's design that I really like is her spiky hair because I usually don't draw spiky hair on characters very often so this was something new and different and uh, yeah, it was good practice and it came out really good. And if you haven't already, you should definitely go check out J Comics Productions over on YouTube. I'll be sure to have some links in the description box below or here on the screen somewhere. And uh, yeah, he comes up with some pretty good animation and I really enjoy it. So give it a watch, give it a like and a follow, and tell him Hand of Rel sent you! Or JJ, or how, you know, whatever you want. Yeah, check out those spikes. The spiky hair came out really good. So one thing I have to admit is that I had trouble drawing the shoes. Um, many people will notice in drawings that I do, I usually don't go too detailed on shoes because uh, I have to admit as an artist, it's a weak point. I can't really draw shoes, so yeah, you can tell that um, in the entire piece, the weakest part of the drawing um, are Desi's shoes, which is kind of sad and it's something I need to practice a little bit more. So. This was good. It was good practice for me to get into drawing shoes and also different angles. The, the angles on the shoe kind of look odd or off, but all in all, it's not too bad. It's not horrendous, but it sticks out to me and I notice. And now that I've mentioned it, everybody probably notices too, but that's okay. As an artist, you need to understand what your weaknesses are so that you can learn and grow. So, yep. So recently, whenever I'm drawing, I try to add a lot of black into different areas. It's a part of a style that um, a lot of artists use. Uh, mainly the ones that I can think of are Scotty Young. And most recently, I started following a Frederator member named Chris Wharton, who also does the same thing. And just, I don't know, I like the graphic look of using a lot of, you know, dark ink you know, under the neck and underneath the shoes. And in this drawing, though, particularly, I found it difficult to find places to add the, the dark areas, I guess because um, usually you add it, you know, inside sleeves or into the back of the hair. And um, yeah, I wasn't able to do it that much. Um, but despite that, the drawing still came out really good. But even as I'm watching it now, I do try to find places where I'd be able to add those really dark areas. and. I still can't seem to find any areas, but that's alright. Still came out good. I was able to add it to, you know, under the shoe and underneath the neck. Um, looking at it now, I think I probably should have um, added a lot of black to the back arm and the back leg. Maybe I'll go in and change the drawing and add that later on um, as a finishing touch. What's it called? In one of the finished pieces, but until then, uh, it still looks good. I think maybe that's why it looks weird, because I've become accustomed to coloring the back leg and the back arm black to give it more of a graphic quality. And um, in this one, I didn't really do it, but yeah. Still, all in all, like I said, not too bad. Yeah, and one of the other things that I'm still trying to learn is how to color something without just having the shadow be, you know, on the right side or the left side. And it, I have to admit that my drawings don't have too much of a, dy um, a dynamic shadow quality to it, which is why I'm starting to try and draw a lot more realistic. Not, not realistically, but trying to draw from real life, you know, taking poses of real people and drawing those and trying to figure out how the lighting actually works because 
usually what I do is I try to draw all the shadows on the right side if the light's coming from the left, but I don't do like three point shadows or anything like that, and it's something else that I really need to learn. And even though this was a, um, a quick simple drawing that I've done, it still it was still good to be able to see what it is that I need to work on, you know, as an artist to grow and get better. Which is always a good thing, you know what I mean? So anyways, here we are. This is the finished piece of Desi. Hope you all like it. As always, please like, subscribe, and follow me on social media and all that good jazz if you want to stay up to date with what I do. And also be sure to follow Jay Comics and Jordan on his Twitter and Facebook and the rest of his social media. And also check out his animation. It's really, really cool. And it's also really neat to see Desi in action. Anyways, I'm JJ. Thank you so much for watching. You all rock. Talk to you later. Bye.